In today's video, I sit still for an uncomfortably long time to take possibly my most rewarding macro photos yet. to this little section of, well, it's sort of woodland. There's these footpaths near my house that are old train lines, basically. Um, and so there's all this like sort of nice vegetation at the side. But this is like quite a nice area that's full of lots of old logs, as you can see, um, lots of nettles, lots of plants, lots of little flowers and things. So it's a great place to find uh, little insects, little flies, lots of texture, often lots of colors, things like that. And as I said before with macro, it's really best if you can kind of limit yourself to one space, find an area like this, rather than walking for miles up and down the footpaths. I'm putting my bag down and setting myself up here, really trying to narrow my focus and see if I can find more things in this spot. While I've been shooting here, I've noticed that inside this log, I keep getting all these wasps going in and out from basically the same little entrance hole. And so I've got my camera really, really close on, focused on that little hole, really hoping to get one, just peeking its head out. I think it would be a really, really great shot. But I've been here a long time and I keep trying to fire away and I'm not sure I've got anything that's working. If I do get anything here at all, it really will just be down to patience. My first shots were okay, but the conditions were quite gloomy. So I was shooting with a slower shutter speed of 200th of a second. But the wasps were moving so quickly that a lot of my shots were quite blurry. So I actually put the camera on a little mobile tripod because it's the only way I could get it close enough to that hole. I manually focused, I actually had to put my finger in shot just a little bit, because if I focused on the wood, it means that when the wasp pokes its head out, which is a little bit in front of the wood, it's not gonna be in focus. I'm also on the fastest burst mode this camera can manage, which is really, really fast, so that any time I see the tiniest bit of movement, I just start firing away and hopefully get the shot. It's getting quite dark here now, so what I'm actually also gonna do is bring in this little LED light panel well, not with, not pink, obviously not pink. Uh, how do I do this? That, yes. Warm it up just a little bit. Bringing in that additional LED light definitely brightened things up a lot, allowing me to shoot at 500th of a second and with a narrower f6.3 aperture to try and get more of that wasp in focus. Okay, I got it going in. But when I get it going in, we just take a photo of its back end. I'm hoping now it's in. Probably won't be too long before it comes back out. So, I'm going to be ready. Or, I'm going to drop my light. Let's see what we got. Sort of got its head peeking out. So let's come back in. So I'll get ready. Got my light. There's another one. There was at least two in there right now. I don't know if it's a whole hive. I don't really know what type of wasp this is. I just now want to photograph it. Stop looking away. Focus, pay attention. Okay. One of them just came out. But just in case the other one's going to, I'm not going to check my images. I have been sitting here like this for such a long time. My back hurts, my knees hurt my neck hurts. I've just been holding this position, trying to get this shot. Just having a look on the back of camera, 
there's a few of these shots that I think are going to look really cool when I've tweaked them in Lightroom. The only way that I've been able to get these shots is by simply being patient. By sitting here literally with my finger on the trigger ready to go so as soon as I see them I start firing away. I basically came out with the hope of finding something interesting to photograph. Maybe it would be um, some insect on a leaf or some interesting textures or colours or whatever it was, but I just happened to see this wasp going inside this bit of trunk. And the more I hung around and watched it, the more I saw that it was coming and going and then other ones were coming and going. But I was only able to notice that because I had limited my searching to this immediate area rather than just strolling on through and hoping to find a shot. But the wasps aren't the only shots I found in this little area. As I explored the trees and bushes, I found these great looking thistles. I think they photographed quite well by themselves, but they were even better when a vibrant yellow wasp came to join the scene. I also found this cute little bug enjoying this tiny pink flower. I took a focus stack here, but crucially I only used the focus point on the bug itself, making sure it remained pin sharp, but still getting that nice shallow depth of field effect on the rest of the image. I was also on the lookout for textures and this big section of chopped down branches had some good opportunities as all of the leaves had dried up and gone crispy. Again, I used focus stacking to get a sharp image, which I think looks quite nice here. Finally, I found this hulk of a fly. I was at f2.8 here to throw that background out of focus, but that meant that focus stacking was critical if I wanted the fly itself to look nice and sharp. I ended up piecing together 35 focus points for this final image that results in a pin sharp subject, but still with a lovely defocused background. Whereas because these flies were more side on to the camera, I was able to simply shoot individual images at f2.8 and still get most of the insect in focus without having to do any stacking. That brings me to an end of this week's video. If you've enjoyed it, then do please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you don't already. And I will see you next time.